Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about size of function. So, this size of it is an inbuilt function. Inbuilt function means it is a predefined function. Okay. So, what is the purpose of this size of function is it is used to calculate the size that the data type occupies in the computer memory. Okay. So, that is the purpose of using this size of function. Okay. Always this size will always represents in bytes. Okay. The size of function will represent always the output in bytes. Okay. So, that means some integer data type it has it will return. So, let me execute one program on this size of function. Okay. So, hash include stdio.h int main here I am declaring variables int a float b char c ok double d so, here I am writing printf statement printf storage size of int data type is percentage d size of so here for integer I have taken a so within the size of function pass that variable ok similarly for all these variables printf storage size of float variable that is float data type is percentage d size of so here what is the variable I have taken for float here for float I have taken b so, size of B how to pass like that for C and D also. So, printf storage size of char data type is percentage D size of C. Okay. Similarly, for double also. storage size of double data type is percentage d size of d ok next as here I have used int main it has to return 0 ok so this is my program using size of function so see here hash include stdio.h that means the standard input output dot dot h header file right so this header file you have to include for each and every program okay so if you are using printf and scanf statements in your program any of these printf or scanf these are input and output functions okay so if you want to work if you want to make use of those functions in your program you have to include this header file in your program okay next to int main that means main this main is the function ok from this main function only C program execution starts so this main it is of type integer ok that means it has to return some integer value that is why here I have included return 0 always a function will return some value so this main as it is an integer int main ok that means this main is of type integer it has to return some integer value so, return 0, 0 is an integer value, ok. So, if a function is returning 0 value means that it is returning that value to the operating system, ok, uh, saying that the program execution is success, ok, that is the meaning of this, of that return 0, ok. So, here I have taken four variables of different data types, int a, so data type variable name that is the syntax of our variable declaration 
ओके डेटा टाइप वेरियबल नेम इंट ए इंट मीन डेटा टाइप ए इज अ वेरियबल नेम दट मीन वाट इज द मीनिंग ए इज अ वेरियबल ऑफ टाइप इंटीजर दट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंट ए सिमिलरली बी इज अ वेरियबल ऑफ टाइप फ्लूट सी इज अ वेरियबल ऑफ टाइप कैरेक्टर ओके डी इज अ वेरियबल ऑफ टाइप डबल so here i am i am going to calculate the storage size of each and every data type okay as always uh, this size of data type the size is always in bytes the bytes means it is always an integer data type okay it, the value will always be an integer like integer of int occupies uh, this many bytes uh, character occupies this many bytes like that that means 1 4 like this uh, some numerical values you will get that means uh, Uh, it is an integer data type so that's why here for all these four cases uh, as this function returns some integer value i have used percentage d percentage d it is called as a format specifier okay suppose uh, if uh, the if the output uh, is in a integer data type uh, you have to use a percentage d okay if you want the output in the character data type you have to represent a percentage c percentage c is the format specifier for character like that if the output uh, uh, it should be in the float data type means uh, you, you have to represent in a percentage f like that okay these are all called as a format specifiers so depending upon whatever may be the format specifier you are you are representing uh, based on that the compiler can understand uh, okay what type of data the variable is holding okay that is the that is the main advantage of using this uh, format specifiers in the program okay that is the purpose of using format specifiers in the program okay so for input and output purposes we will use this format specifiers okay so here as a size of function always it returns some integer data type because the size of always returns some bytes value this bytes value will be always an integer like 4 bytes 2 bytes 1 byte like that so that's why here for all this i have used percentage d okay so by using the size of function i am calculating the storage size of each and every data type okay that is the purpose of this program so the output will be okay here for the first printf statement storage size of int data type is here percentage d here in this place the output will come so here size of a here a means it is of data type integer so here if you are working with a 16 bit processor if you are working with a 16 bit processor here you will get an output as a 2 2 bytes okay if you are working with a 32 bit processor you will get an output of 4 for integer okay for integer data type if you are working with a 16 bit processor okay within the cpu if you are working with 16 bit processor you will get an output of 2 bytes here if you are working with a 32 bit processor you will get an output of 4 okay if you are working with a 64 bit processor you will get an output of 8 here for size of a for integer okay this is only for integer data type i am sp i am saying okay uh, size of a is a is of type integer here the output will be depending upon the processor you will get if you are working with a 16 bit you will get a 2 here output If you are working with the 32 bit, you will get 4 as an output. If you are working with 64 bit, you will get 8 as an output. Okay. So suppose if I am working with the 32 bit processor, I will get 4 as an output. Similarly, storage storage size for int is int data type. It is printed on the output screen. Next one is storage size of float data type. Second one. So float data type is always a float takes a 4 bytes of space. size of b means here 4 similarly for char data type storage third one third print of statement storage size of char data type is so always the char data type it takes one byte of space okay one byte of storage space it takes so the output is one similarly storage size of double data type last one so double data type is always double takes 8 bytes of space okay so like this you will get the output now let me show the execution of size of function 
so write the code hash include stdio dot h int main so here you have to write first of all you have to declare the variables int a float b char c double d so write the printf statement printf storage size for int data type is percentage d comma size of a okay end with a semicolon here float float data type here character data type and next one is double data type okay so here size of for float data type the variable i have declared float b okay so size of b Similarly, for character data type, I have taken C, right? So here C. For double data type, I have taken D. So here, pass D variable. Okay. So this is my program. So just. Execute the code. Okay, so let me show the code in the clear picture slash n. So if you give this a slash n. So see here, then in the new line, for each and every statement will be printed in the new line, okay. So you will get a better clarity, see here now, execute the code. So storage size for int data type is 4 because here I am using 32 bit processor, so that is why it is 4 bytes. Storage size for float data type is 4. Storage size for char data type is 1. Storage space, storage size for double data type is 8. Okay, so this is my output. So that is about size of function. Thank you.